hole number 19 was on a hooker he's fucking and they're all like yeah wives we're cheating on him <laughs> Remember last year when we were like, hey, 2020 is not going to be that bad? 2020. Gabe, play the clip. Nothing happens ever. So for 2020, I mean. 2020. Yeah, a bunch of shitty jokes, but I mean, that's that's about it. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so funny. 2020 was just watching our old clip being like, ha you thought. Um, we did, yeah. We thought it was going to be fun. I, I mean, I, I legit was like, nothing's going to be different because nothing is ever different. When huh? is anything ever different? You this like, year? Well, I understand. I'm saying until this shit. Oh, happened, oh, 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 oh. You were yeah. like, when I was like, oh, fucking 2006, 2007, what's gonna be different? I don't know. You're gonna be grosser. That's it. You don't think in the year 6969, it's gonna be a little freer? Oh, 69. God. But then man. the world's gonna be fucking. Yeah, we're gonna be living on the moon. I, we're, we're, I hope by then. You wanna be on the moon? No, nah. I, I think there's going to just be human fleshlights walking around, just alien fleshlights. You know, what's going to be odd. First of all, yes, I agree with you. Also, like in about 35 to 40 years, no one's going to have relationships. No one's going to be married to humans. If you have a human wife, you're like, what are you a fuck? You have an analog ass wife. Maybe. Your wife can't make a fucking omelet and blow you at the same time. You're a she loser. Could. It might not be the best omelet or the best blow job, but you're getting no. both. That's going to be a fucking MS omelet. It's going to be all shaky MS. and fucked up. Multiple sclerosis. I can't even say that word. What word is that? Multiple Your mouth sclerosis. Has multiple sclerosis. You can't even say it. Multiple sclerosis. No. Nope. I think they say that just because if a doctor can say it, you're like, I know what he's saying. I trust him. Uh, do you ever think that a doctor goes to school? I don't know if we were talking about this, but I want to make this a bit. school? No, I, well, I didn't Pretty sure they do, yeah. Hey, honestly, both you guys, fuck you. Uh, huh? It's my birthday. Leave me alone. Guys, it's my birthday. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Happy motherfucking birthday, Trevor yeah, Wallace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, it's so hard to do anything for your birthday with plans. Airbnb as a whole, this whole week, shut down all houses. You can't rent a house. And, and their result to that is they link you to hotels you can rent. This ain't kayak.com, bitch. Also, I want a nice house that I can pretend I'm living lavishly in from 3 p.m. till 11 a.m. You fucking whores. Give me my house. Yeah, I, I'm trying to break these motherfuckers' plates. I was like, you know what? I, this is what I'll do for my birthday. I'll do a little like COVID test, have some friends over for a dinner, a fucking dinner at a house that's, that's bigger. Lavish. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go to Airbnb and they're like, your past history shows that you have been. It said pretty much my past history of booking shows that I would have party tendencies. And I was outraged until I saw my last three bookings were like, Scottsdale, Arizona, Palm Springs, Palm Springs. And I was like, valid. Hold but on. Still, I didn't even. You can't. The, Air, the, the audacity of Airbnb to be like, you have party tendency. Motherfucker, you don't know me. Yeah. I might <laughs> I be reading the Bible in that saying. bitch. I might be going to fucking Scottsdale to write the next great American novel. I mean, let's be real. We were staring at fake titties from three miles away. But honestly, yeah. it's just wild for... Like nobody asked Airbnb to do Airbnb to do this. Do you know how much money? That's how much money they're worth. That they're like, oh yeah, we can take a hit. We'll just take twenty twenty NYE out. We don't even need it. I don't. I it, it's 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 flabbergasting me right now. The Airbnb can be like, oh, you rented these homes, therefore you like parties, motherfucker. You don't know what I'm doing in those homes. Wow. So I talked to representative. Re oh, representation. Words. We got it. Rep Multiple repre sclerosis. No representative. Mm -hmm. We got it. Representative. Representative. And her name, I knew this was not going to be good. Not even trying to be a joke here. Her name was Karen. I was like, you got to change it if that's your name. Go by K. You're not Every get kiss a begins with K. Does what? it? Not every kiss? Lie. <laughs> I've never given one fucking piece of K jewelry to anyone. First of all, K jewelry is gar -bye. Yeah, if you have to advertise your jewelry, you're trash. Trash. Take her down to Jared's. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Jared? Who the fuck is Jared? And why are you next to a Cinnabon? Is that the same guy from Subway? Wow. Jared's are always next to the, the they are really close to the Cinnabons. They're all, yeah. I don't know why, but I will say every kiss does not begin with K. Odd, if that was the case. I kiss my mom, I give her a fucking tennis bracelet. Hold on, what are we, what are we stopping here? You don't kiss your mom? Hold you on. fucking non-loving bitch? Uh, it just came out so quick. You're like, I'll kiss my mom. And I was like, I don't know how that proves a point. I'll kiss my mom. All right. You don't kiss your mom? No. I haven't hugged my mom in nine months. She's, <laughs> she's terrified of COVID. I, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. But you, like, to, yeah. do you like embrace your parents? 
I love my parents. Dude, you know what's so odd? First of all, two things that are odd in uh, parental kid relationships. One is if you The kiss- fact that you just said parental kid relationship. <laughs> yeah, parental kid relationship. That makes sense. Why are you yeah. trying to fucking pigeonhole me sorry, if you're not in for the last three minutes? Just because Damn, of your fucking someone. birthday. <laughs> Um, yes, two things that are odd. Two things odd. Uh, have you ever met a, a fucking mom or and a kid or a kid and a dad that uh, kiss each other on the mouth? Stop that right now. Yeah. Well, didn't Tom Brady do that? The internet got in on him because he did that. Yeah, but there, he slipped some tongue in there. Hey, God, man. Damn. Every kiss, bring, fucking... every kiss begins with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you worried about the wrong kind of K. God damn! Hold up. Um. Yeah, he did. Damn, he that would have been a funny if somebody like took that clip of Tom Brady. He's like, every kiss begins with K. Da, da, da. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's odd. Uh, uh, what I've seen that before, but like, at what age are you like, Dad? You gotta chill. Four. <laughs> Four's up. We're done. I don't even like to. Ki- Realistically, I I like I have out uh, the gate. I think it's forehead kisses only. Only. Hi, son. Bye, son. Top. Top. That's odd. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, okay. no, no, no. Top of the forehead. Yo. <laughs> no, could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> no. Someone's going to take that clip. Hello, son. Goodbye, son. <laughs> Top. No, sir. <laughs> Bottom? Yeah. Well, worse. Maybe worse. Mid. <laughs> Mid is fine. Little belly button kiss. You know what's odd? Is what your mom or dad ever give you a raspberry? You uh-huh. know what that is? Not a rat, not a fruit. Oh, isn't that when they like on the belly? You go <laughs> on the belly. Why are they called raspberries? I have no idea. Why is a raspberry called a raspberry? My point is, is you go <laughs> right. First of all, I remember having these thoughts. I was like, don't do it in front of people. I don't want to go. You ever giggle? I was so pissed when I when I had like some on my face, like chocolate or something. My mom be like, yeah, let me get that off you. I'll be like, I'll fucking leave that there for later. I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, why would they do this? Deep though. Hated it. Also, saliva don't smell good, mom. No. You been eating fucking sweet potatoes. It just tastes like 93 Merlot and stale Keurig coffee. It tastes like sweaty nickels. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You ever have sweaty change in your pocket? You take Not it really. out. You take it a whiff and you come. You've never you had, done that? What was the last time you had change in your pocket? Never. Who I had change? change in my pocket the other day and it fell out and I looked at it on the car seat and I said, good, stay there. You belong there. 13 cents on my car seat right don't now. Don't need it. You want your change? No, motherfucker. That's I want the paper of, change. That's a thing of the past for sure. Change. When was the last time you used money? I don't. Who uses money? Like actual currency, like fucking feel paper money. Rappers, and that is it. Rappers, oh, get a bank account. Please, <laughs> please get a bank account. It, it, it honestly upsets me when I see them like, yeah, fucking, they're using it as a phone. That's not a phone. It's not a phone. That's not a phone. Not a phone. That's a motherfucking stack of money that you should give your children. I'll tell you what, trademark this, me, right now, don't take my idea. They should make a phone case. You know the of Knox's dumb brick phone cases? Hate them. They should make a phone case that's like silicone that looks like a wad of cash. So when people are like, oh, what is that, your phone? You can be like, yes. It is. Talk to Nana. Nana? Nana. You kiss your Nana on the forehead? Sure. There we go. Why do we smell weird? They smell like Nanas? fucking baby powder. They don't leave the house much. That's true. They're just marinating in dust. God damn, Nana, go outside. <laughs> Telling Nana to go outside is wild. Nana, go outside. Yo. But they want to go outside. That's why they're always looking out the window in a rocking chair, just looking at it like boom. That's sad as fuck because they were like, 40 years ago, I could get up out of this rocking chair and go outside. They can't even get out the rocking chair. I know, man. You ever, Old you ever walk- is sad. Dog, don't make it sad. No, you're gonna, fuck! You're gonna get an older. You old bitch. Happy birthday! Yeah, bop, bop, ba-da, bop, That's bop. great, man. Birthday, birthday. You ever, you ever call your grandma and know that she's in the bathtub? Nope. Well, My I guess I'm the only away. one. Your grandma passed away. Both of them. Good. <laughs> Jesus. Happy Love birthday. <laughs> Um, how do you know they're in the tub? Because I, I call my grandma literally, and then I'm talking to her. It's a little echoey, and in my head, I'm like, "Oh, she's wherever the fuck she is." She's and in then the all of a sudden, somewhere. and then yeah, yeah, maybe the Holland Tunnel. And then all of a sudden, I just hear the sound of water, and I'm like, "Grandma," she goes, "Yeah," and I go, "Are you in the fucking bathtub, Grandma?" And she goes, "Yes." Anyways, Yo, not what anyways. Going to do though? That's- pause. Pause. Hang up the phone. Don't pick up the phone. You're an asshole naked grandma. Body I, looking like a puddle. I don't want to fucking think of that when I'm trying to get money from you. Well, you know, the thing, I mean, it's more so relaxing, you know? That's her pool. That is her outside. I'm fine. Pool. With I'm fine with taking a bath. Grandma, take all the baths you want. Turn into a goddamn prune. I don't give a fuck. You ever but don't pick up the phone. You ever answer the phone when you're taking a shit, though? And people can call you out immediately? Yep. I'll be like, I had no idea. And they're like, are you in the bathroom? I'm like, what? 
Yeah. I go, what are you talking about? I can smell it. <laughs> You ever have to press mute when you uh, flush? Uh, yeah. Conference so, call, important. Conference calls, every time I'm peeing, I go, I hope nobody talks to me. I go, mute, start peeing. Yep. And then they're like, do you agree with that, Trevor? And I'm like, Fuck. You better hold him in. Hold the pee. And I go, yes, sir. Back on mute. Yeah. Even if it's something, you got to agree. Because you can't disagree with it because then it's a whole follow-up. You got to agree with anything they're saying. Yeah. They're like, are you a Nazi? Yes. <laughs> I'm mute. <laughs> Just fucking keep going. You can't. You can't disagree. You ever get a text and you go, oh, if I say I don't like this or I have notes on this, it's going to be a fucking 14 text back and forth. So you just go, it's dope. I yeah. do that all the, like, I mean, the sickest thing ever. I don't do that to people that are like within my life system. Like I've never like, if I think something's what, if I want to give you a note or Gabe or, or like my boy Akash, whatever on some shit. I know I'm thinking about all the times you're like, yeah, it's hilarious. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's uh, what I was going to say. I, I would never do that to people that are like in my circle. But like some people that are like a little periphery, I'm just like, yeah, sick dude, awesome. Somebody sends you a song, you're like, fire. Oh, and then- One fire emoji, boom. Where do they go from that? And then you can't. And then too fast though. You gotta look at how long the song is and then wait double that and be like, fire. Exactly, I mean, I sent somebody a four, or it was like a five minute video recently and 45 seconds in, they're laughing laughing emojis. Mm -mm. Did you pause the video? Are you gonna update me when you get to three minutes? Am I gonna get a synapsis review at four minutes? Synapsis? Wrong. You always fuck that word synapsis. up. Synapsis. Synopsis. What's that? Frank synopsis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the singer? <laughs> so you're telling me Frank Sinatra and Frank synapsis are the same person? They're, no, no, that's, that's literally Have what I- Have you ever seen a synopsis and Frank in the same room? Synapsis is not a human. Our synopsis is not a thing. See, you don't dude. even know what the. What so it you're is. personifying synopsis. What well, all I'm saying is your synapsis is not working because you don't understand the difference between synop synapse. I can't even fucking say it now. Hoax. Don't point at me. Hoax. Don't point at me like I Hoax. don't understand. Hoax is the funniest thing to say anything. <laughs> you came too quick. Hoax. Shut yeah, up. yeah, sure. Coming too quick is a hoax if you think about it. How? Because everyone comes different times. So you saying I came too quick, that's a hoax. Oh. Because, because someone comes quicker than me. So quicker what's fast? Quicker than you, yeah. So what's fast? So to a certain person, you're packing heat and laying it exactly. down. Exactly. There's a lot of women that would push their fucking iguanas down the stairs to have me fuck as long as I fuck. Because their fucking boyfriend has sex for 17 seconds. Now that's a synopsis. 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 Frank, where are you at? Also Frank grandma. Frank synopsis. Grandma. grandma bathtub. You're, you <laughs> seem fine to me. Like you seem fine that I call my grandma and she's in the bathtub. Yeah. Don't pick up the phone. Why? What do you mean why? Well, it's not like she's on FaceTime and her titties are floating in the water like a rubber ducky. I think... First of all, hilarious. <laughs> Second of all, I would actually prefer her to pick up a face on because then exactly I would know exactly what it looks like because in my brain it looks way worse. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. You want you want to see her on FaceTime? My point is my brain can conjure so much of a worse image than what it probably actually is. You want to see your grandma naked is what you're saying. I, I would actually rather fuck your tongue time right now. No, 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 I, I'm already, we're, this is a scoreboard for this episode. I already got the fucking L earlier, so we're trying to <laughs> catch up here. Wait, no, I'm just trying to I think just how she looks in general or when she's in a bathtub. What I'm saying is when I call my grandma and she picks up and then I realize that she's in the bathtub, my brain oh. can conjure something way grosser oh. than what it actually and is. And then in reality, she's in like a little onesie, little piece yeah also you know what's so funny do you remember like do you know what like old school uh ba bathing suits look like kind of motherfucker wear, higher. motherfucker wear a poncho go what, what are you doing was it it was hilarious it was like, just a one piece but like the girl bathing suit i think were like just they, it, there was like ruffles really was, like sequence it's just a whole thing it looks like she's wearing a croissant i like a croissant Croissants are great, but not to I wear. Just, I don't see why you're... I, I would rather talk to a grandma when she's relaxing in the tub. Why? Because she got the bath bomb in the water. You know, maybe it's CBD scented. She got whiskers the cat getting all friskered on them toes, licking God them up. Damn. You know, she's in a good mood, right? Or do you want to talk to grandma when the fucking squirrels are eating her kumquats in the backyard and she's hopped up off the fold and she's like, got fucking squirrels, Michael, fuck you. Because she's in the will. She's all peaced out. She's all zen. She's like, Michael, my sweet right. darling. Yeah. You still down for 75% of the will? And you're like, yeah, grandma, give me that will, lovely lady. Okay, first of all, call my grandma, bitch. That's totally I did not could, do that. No, you can do it. I don't care. My grandma's a bitch. 
<laughs> is she? No, she's a nice. Well, she's it's Jewish. So, she's Jewish, and a Jewish I, grandma I, yeah. falls under the umbrella of bitch. It's funny because grandparents are so hit or miss. They're, they're yep. either the nicest or the worst people. There's no. You never met a grandpa who was like bipolar, was like a little nice and like a little mean. He's just no. straight one or the other. Yeah, he's either so nice, like chopping down trees and making your dog a log cabin, or racist. Those are the two options you got. I think you cut down log cabins are probably a little racist. Yeah. You ever play Lincoln Logs as a kid? Oh, fucking talking about <laughs> logs. Oh. Hold up. This is the funniest thing ever. It's okay. hilarious. All right. So <laughs> for Christmas, I we all know me, Big J, Big Big Jew Dog. Kike. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but so I went over to the lady's uh, dad's house for Christmas Eve. And right. she's like, yeah, I got you a gift. I have no idea what it is. He comes okay. out, giant smile on the face. And it's like, a, it's like a long, it's probably the size of like two Jenga boards, you know? Oh, Decent. Okay. Or Jenga boxes. Boxes, the box okay, okay. Of yep, It's it. like two. And I, and I get it. And it's kind of heavy. And I'm like, this is like a tequila bottle? Can I pause you? Is this what your what her dad got you or yes. she got you? No, the dad. Got it. The dad, who I've got met it. maybe three times. The first time I met him was at a pool. My shirt was off and he gave me the up down twice. I'm not even bullshitting you. Gave me the up down two separate occasions because he's fucking, he's buff. He's in good shape. Yeah. He, well, his, his hair is crazy. His he hair has is, a I, jawline at age 60. What's going on? He is the vaccine. I've seen the bod. He has a great bod. Hair, gone in for Apparently, teeth. she told me that one of her friends, a guy, was working out the same gym with him. Had, he said he has a dong. dong. What am I saying? You know, maybe he wrapped up hand? his dong and gave it to you. Now, knowing that somebody's got a fucking dong, I gotta. I shake their hands so hard just to like assert my dong in it. See what I did there, guys? Got it. Um, fuck. Anyway, so I will say, I'm so sorry to, to keep cutting the story. I will say though, if you know a guy has a massive dong and you're saying hello to him, you do give a little bit of oomph to be like, yeah. I'd be like, I, I mean, don't I don't even shake his hand. I go straight for the cock, like hi. Yeah. Oh, a, a cock hi? That's what I do. They go, what time is it? I go, cock high time. Cock a doodle doo. God damn, goes, I don't That's my thigh. Me. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to start. Anyways, Christmas Eve, right? Just to set the tone of Give the overall ambiance. We're eating at his place. He orders in CPK, which I'm not opposed to. I fucking love CPK. No CPK, one knows what that is. California Pizza Kitchen? <clears throat> he orders California Pizza Kitchen on New Year's Eve? I mean, uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve? Christmas Eve, yeah. Just to set the tone, which I, I love California Pizza Kitchen. He's got a gypsy. And then comes out, hands me it, right? I unwrap it. Oh, fuck. It's a axe. An axe. What? An axe. Like an axe. Like, axe. like, like an axe. Not like axe like body a, spray. No, like an axe. No, 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 no. That would have been best case scenario because that fits my overall persona. I look like if a fucking somebody took a dab pen and fucked an axe can. Yeah. But it's literally an axe. Like a like it's it's like how big is the axe? Like picture the brawny towel picker upper boy. Probably <laughs> brawny towel paper. Bra brawny towel. Yeah. Brawny towels. The more I say it, the more you'll know. Brawny I just, towels. I don't think he's a paper picker upper boy. <laughs> I think he's a picker upper paper, paper. Brawny <laughs> towel paper picker upper. A paper picker upper boy? Well, that's what they're fucking advertising. Is it? I just don't think he's a boy. I know who you're talking oh, about. Oh, he's a full out man. I know yeah. what he looks like. Yeah, he has. Nah, I'm bringing him up. You guys kind of look alike. Me and him? Take the compliment. All right. Thank you so much, man. He <laughs> said Hold on, bro. Hold the, up. Bro, but what's the what's the uh, what's the? Egg? You don't see it a little bit. What's the? Egg? You don't see it a little bit. You don't you a little. That's a little. That's Michael that on roids. That looks like me if I was a Disney prince. Villain. Michael oh, yeah. on roids. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right this is Michael if he just ate Greta for nine meals a day. That's me if I didn't go into comedy. If I was just like <laughs> sad, living in fucking Maryland, having a wife and two kids. Yeah, I'm an HR, eating. but uh, yeah, I'm well, buff. That's, why? That's why dudes do that. It's just like first of all to get away from the family, but also it's like for something to do. Because they hate their lives. Yeah. So it's like, what else? And is it's the only do? excuse where you can be like, "Hey, honey, I'm going to the gym," and she's not like, "Oh, you're just gonna go to the gym." Right. Instead of him being like, "Hey, I'm gonna go watch the Browns play the uh, fucking Chargers tonight." Huh. football. Huh. You just don't care about your son. We don't have kids, Marlene. Huh. It's funny. Well, we could <laughs> if you'd fuck me more often. <laughs> There's nothing worse than in movies, and I and this is the part of the relationship they don't look forward to. Is when like 40, and then they're like, the the sex just seems so sad. The the girls like. Well, honey, do you want to bang? He's like, oh, I guess. And she goes, Why'd you sigh? Why'd you sigh? You don't want to have sex? And he's like, No, oh, I don't have sex. And then you're just like, You know what's so funny about the, about the movies and TV? It always looks like they always paint it like the wife or the girlfriend doesn't want to have sex. It's the opposite all of the time. The dude is in real life, the dude is like, I don't 
we're done with sex. Really? And, oh. What yeah. movie is this? Oh, well, every every movie, every TV Every movie show. I watch, well, maybe the- You ever seen King of Queens? First of all, you watch 11 movies in your entire well, life. I was going to say, I think I've just been watching- 10 of them is the same movie. Yeah, I think I've just been watching porn. Because I was like, I think the guy's always down. And I was like, yeah. Brazzers. Well, the dude is always, the, the, that's what I'm saying. The dude is always down, but the wife or the girlfriend is always like, oh, I have a headache and blah, blah, blah. That, yeah. That's where the I have a headache came from. But in real life, in real relationships, I would say more often than not, the dude doesn't want to have sex anymore. Because the, the girl's like, hey, we haven't had sex in two months. And he goes, do you have the same vagina? And she goes, yeah. He goes, well, I'm out. <laughs> like, it's like, really? shark, it's like Shark Tank. And for that, Sad. I'm out. Oh, Axe. very sad. Anyway. X. Maybe that's why he gave you it. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. No, I want to see if I have a picture real quick. So, I, and, and like, I, I what, what do you react to? I, I have to have a picture of it. What do you react to? I think you cut off his dong in that moment. You just cut it off. Assert your dominance. Yeah, where is it? Your dick is my dick now. That's how you, dude. Yeah, that's how, that's what you do. If you know a dad has a gigantic dong, that's how you assert your dominance. He gives you an axe. He's giving you an axe for a purpose. I'm talking about chopping my my dad's dick off. <laughs> yeah, and then you kind of, it's like, then it's your trophy. Then it's yeah. like he doesn't have a big dick, you do. But see, that's the crazy part, because you're like, <laughs> one, I'm banging your baby girl. Two, I have your peep. Maybe that's why he gave you the axe. Because he's like, you're banging my baby girl. Look at your body. You can't take care of her, Trevor. Here's an axe so you can take care of her. I am so lost, but I, what is happening? I'm saying, I was telling Gabe, because you're looking for the picture. I was telling I was telling Gabe that if you were banging my daughter, right, I would look at you and be like, wow, you have the body of a pomegranate. That's so not bad. A body of a pomegranate? Why? What, what's wrong with that? That's like that Gru body. Gru? 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 What movie is that? Uh... Despicable yeah, me? Despicable me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. All right, whatever. So you have a shitty body is what I'm saying. Not Whoa! A, not wow! A <laughs> not I, a I find a picture on my phone. <laughs> 38 seconds later, I have a body of a pomegranate. <laughs> it's my birthday! Oh, shit, I'm you sorry. Bitch. I'm sorry. You have the body of a fucking jackfruit. That's fine. No! I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what a jackfruit is. Think of a dumb fruit. Got it. That. Okay. This is the axe. Give Wait, the what, axe. What, what, what are you trying to? All I'm good is all I was saying was that if I, okay, I'll take you out of it. If I had a daughter that was banging a dude that I felt like couldn't take care of my baby girl on a day-to-day -day basis, I would fucking buy him a weapon to be able to take care of my daughter. That's all I'm saying. Here's the thing though. Okay. He got me an axe. He got her brother an axe, and then the girlfriend a hatchet, a little mini one. We all got them. What in the fuck is going we're on? We're all like, we're, like we're all just gonna live together somewhere in the Sequoia Mountains. Is that a place? Probably. <laughs> I think we're, Sequoia's a tree, but that's fine. Uh, well, the Your trees on mountains. Your synopsis is not working. Your synopsis, Frank synopsis. Frank synopsis. Someone fucking put that on a t-shirt. Michael Bublé, racked out right now. Racked no, out. But we fisted so, himself since fucking New Year's so, Eve. So like, we all just like we yes, it's a husky uh, one. Husky. No. Oh shit! I used to have a husky. Remember? Not the dog you returned. Greta one. That's the. Axe. That's the one. So Gabe, well, you know, I'll send you this. Yep. But um, it's it's a three and a half pound. Just can sleek. you even lift that up? No. Okay. I lifted up the handle and yeah. I was like, this comes off the ground. <laughs> I thought this was like the maneuver they had of the carnival. I'm like pull. Um. So he got me an axe. He got the the my girlfriend's boyfriend. Not whoa. Pause. I got it. Hold on. Cuck shit. No. <laughs> My girlfriend's brother in Axe. My girlfriend's, <laughs> my girlfriend's boyfriend sounds like a fucking if, band name. If he came over too. Who are you? I'm dating her. Wait, me too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. We should all date. Wait, hold up. So I have an axe. He has an axe. And then the lady has a hatchet. And we're, we're just three axes. And the dad's just <laughs> losing his mind like, yeah, what do you think? And I was like, honestly, fire. Like, it's a gift that is... There's the obligatory, here's $20 to Lululemon. Right, right. But this is such an interesting gift. You're just like, what do I do with this? You know what would be dope is in a fucking scary movie, the dad would just disappear and then over like a God mic, he'd be like, and now fight for my love saw. to death. Yes, yeah, saw. And then fucking just battle each other. Who are you killing first? Brother, have to. You can't kill your girl. Yeah. Kill the brother and then, well, then what? Well, but are you saying only one of them can walk out of this alive? Only one. What, are you yeah, doing? what if that just wasn't like a, a, a demand that like you hear the voice like you didn't need to kill anyone. Oh, all right. Oh shit. Everyone's dead. You're fucking full of blood. Well, not two axes. Uh, but yeah, it was just the most wild gift I've ever gotten. There must Besides have been. when I was younger, one year my mom got me a roll of tape. Yeah, that was the funniest thing that's ever, you said this on, on episode before. Like, Scotch that tape. Is, 
absolutely what did I, I think this is the first thing because my brain so i definitely have already said this but one time my little brother is so he's the nicest person ever he was like maybe six i in a, for a, a, like a bit i wrapped up like a super old shoe one shoe old as fuck and it was like a size 10 doesn't fit him clearly he's six wrapped it up nice gave it to him he opened it up and, and fucking took it out and was like Oh my god, thank you. Like a real natural fucking adorable reaction. Awkward, yeah. Went and hugged me and I was like, "Oh dude, I'm at, like any other like real not nice genuine person would have been like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. He reacted like I gave him a fucking a, a new PlayStation 5. It was the cutest. It was a, a memory that I'll never forget. Also, why did he get you the hatchet? Did you ever ask him or are you like stop? He was like, "I just thought it'd be a fun gift." And it's like, you know, Shit's getting wild out there. Here's an axe. That was what I was oh. gonna ask. If he's like sort of like an apocalypse yeah, guy. But okay. sure, sure. Drop one off on a Thanksgiving night. If there's ever a time to give an axe, it's the night of Thanksgiving. Sure. But the holidays, we already have the tree, sir. What are we gonna re chop it down? Right. Am I gonna, or make drink coasters out of my Christmas tree? I should. You should. But also, when you take it down to help the the garbage people out, you should fucking chop it up. I saw people getting Christmas trees December twenty second on the top of the car. It's too late. The family hates you. Is it? There's no family. I've 20 seconds? I've gotten it on fucking Christmas Eve before. And where is your father? <laughs> if you're watching this day. <laughs> I'm sorry. He is. He's definitely watching. Your dad's, your, your dad's a great guy. <clears throat> um, What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, I mean, I, dude, my mom was a fucking single mom for a long time. She has a fucking three kids. I How guess. the fuck is she going to goddamn goddamn Christmas tree? Sure. Taking us a track You're practice. doing what I do to you and you're making me feel bad right Got now. Got you. You do this to me all the time. I know, but it's just like. <laughs> Three days? See, I, I like to leave my tree up. I, the, the the girlfriend's like, leave it through New Year's. I was like, yeah, I'm leaving it through the new year. Yeah, so 2021. Did you get a real tree? Real tree. Who the fuck out here in these streets getting a goddamn fake tree? So many parents. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I mean, would you, if, if I had a bunch of kids I, and I hated I everyone, think, I would just get a fake tree. Yeah, I think the first like year or two, you're, you're like married. You're like, real tree. And then kids are yelling and crying. Now I see where you're coming from. Where you're like, it's three days away. And the kid's like, where's the fucking tree? You're like, I am two days away from leaving this family and oh, starting yeah. a new one in Temecula without all these fucks. <laughs> so dude, that's why I don't understand. Like, that's I take why that it, back. I'll buy a tree Christmas morning. Yeah, dude, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll on the 26th. Buddy, I'll pick my family in the car, drive to the Christmas tree place, fucking put presents underneath one and be like, this is it. <laughs> We're doing Christmas in, on a hike today. Yeah. This is a Home Depot parking oh, no. lot. <laughs> That it, dude, I, I mean, as, as fucking weird as YouTube is these days, I'm surprised it's not a, a video already. Yeah. Trademark, you heard it here first. Unwrapping gifts at the Christmas farm. Christmas thing? I, 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 have, I, I, I have no problem with that. All, all I'm going to say is like, my mom was a single mom for fucking, still is, but for forever with fucking three kids. It's like, bro, I have one dog and I can barely manage it emotionally. I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea, dude. I take I take Greta on the fucking plane, and I am a, it's fuck. It's a nightmare. To, yeah. It's just and then all of a sudden it's like oh now I have to do three kids and a fucking dog. No, no, I'm not getting a Christmas tree. No, I feel I'm that. not getting birthday gifts. I'm yeah. not feeding you. Well, like I feel that, but like also like I know people that they have the the fake tree and they're like yeah every year it just compacts into a box and then you just pop it up Sad. and it, it's there. Sad. But yeah. You know what's even more sad? Buying the Glade uh, scented uh, Christmas scent to put behind the tree to what? give off the illusion. What, what is it? Just like some, I don't even know. A Glade plug-in? Oh, Glade behind the fake tree. Yeah, to be mm. like, you smell the tree? Well, that's plastic. No, you don't. It's fucking plastic. That is made out of Michelin tires. Gross. Uh, Michelin. Hatchet. Where are you putting it? Uh, it's in my room. Just in your room? Yeah, well, what the fuck else am I going to do? Put it next to my sous vide? I think it'd be kind of cool to like just put it like underneath your bed so like you're sort of and my bed doesn't have a fucking thing you could though you could make it I could literally cut it chop it in realistically if you think about it there must have been a discount on uh, hatchets somewhere like he went to like TJ Maxx and they were just like three for one I think he was probably buying light bulbs for okay. one that went out in the kitchen at Home Depot and was like axes the yeah, same way was, my this parents this was a last minute gift there was, yeah. he didn't plan this there's yeah. no way he put thought into this. Does he listen to this? No. Good. There's no way he fucking thought about this. It's like when you come back and you have like a Snickers bar and you're like, happy birthday. Like, you Well, do. I think that's what the tape idea was. Is like, you know, you do eight nights, you do eight presents or whatever. I think my parents were like, we got fucking seven. What is this weird kid like? Tape? Weed. Sure. 
Yeah. Weed, Dad, Mom. Joints. Uh, Seven, um, fu- eight gifts. That's that's crazy. Yeah, but it's it's not like eight banging ass gifts unless you're loaded. It's like the one thing you want, and then like seven trickling. It'll be like Skittles, and you're like, all right. Yeah, but how do you fucking open Skittles on day four or night four? And like, well, you don't know because it's all random. It's not like here's night one, here's night two, night three. So you're kind of gambling. You out here being uh, like night one, what did I get? Oh, dude, my mom killed fucking Christmas this year, bro. We still do like the whole like Santa thing. I love it. Hold on. Yeah. Do, let me finish on this accent. Oh, and we'll yeah, get please. to the Santa thing. Yeah. I don't hate the gift. I, I was like, I the like look it. on my face was very much like, fucking dude, I have an axe now. And I immediately called my friend who just got a gun out of spite, which is something you can just do. I'm sorry. I, I got to. Yeah. What do you mean a gun out of spite? Spite. Is that what? I don't. Well, I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I think I'm it, being bored. I know what it actually means. What a spite! Like it, mad? He, yeah. I, I think he was like, mad he didn't have a gun. Hilarious. I think he was literally like, I, like just random. Like just the same reason guys just randomly pick up spike ball. They're like, yeah, it looks fun. I saw my friend online at a gun it, range. I, got it, I, got it. I think he just follows Dan Bilzerian and was like, I want a life like this. And then even though he works in like you know finance, he's like done. I kind of want a gun too. Is that weird? But I think I, you just hit a certain age. That's like your quarter life crisis. You're like, well, I'm not going to get a new fucking Miata. Well, gun. Miata. Why are people <laughs> purchasing those? Because they don't have enough money for a Porsche Boxster and they buy a Miata. It, okay. Yeah. But it's it's literally, it's like. Dude, if you get in a car accident in a Miata. Done. R.I.P. You you're, fucking hit the curb at Vaughn's. Done. <laughs> it's over. Dude, you're literally driving a bird scooter with a fucking roof. That's what a Miata is. Yeah. And then they rev it like it's dope. No. Sir, you're driving a I hot wheels car. I get so mad car. when I hear a loud car and I look over and it's a Honda Civic. I'm like, what are you doing? Here's catfish in the world. You fucked up my shitty TikTok because your volume in the back. Literally, I was editing the video. I just posted yep. on Monday. Yep. And there's a part where it's like I had like a super on purpose, like a quiet moment where I like pause and then say something. And then since I live in the valley, you're going to hear. Hate it. And obviously, could I have dubbed that in? Sure, fine. I could have changed it with like silence in the room, but I kind of liked it. Anyways, um, hatch it. But it's something manly about just being like, I got a fucking axe, you know? So yeah. like, I was just like, hell yeah, I got an axe now. Am I ever going to use it? Probably one time. I'll probably go to the snow at some point, cut down a fucking, you know, carrot, and then be like, cool, I did a thing. Why is a carrot a snowman's nose? I don't know. Why isn't it his dick? Does snowman not have dick? No, but I mean, well, they, they should, but that's more of like an adult snowman. Can you imagine like making oh, well, a snow, I mean, I think snowman that's, with that's your family like, and be like, hold on, that's like, what, where's what? an eggplant? True. I think that's one of those images you'd see like your dad share on Facebook, but like, get a kick out of this, kids, and the nose is on the dick, and you're like, nice, dad. Yeah, you have to respond, nice, dad. But it is, it is cool when you hit a certain age where you don't have to like, sort of uh, like, what's the word like play into like what your parents are saying <clears throat> it's really nice when like, you're like financially like independent and oh like, you can they and they say something and like i'm like shut that shut up bro <laughs> what do you what do you like it's a nice moment oh man i don't have the heart to do that i love my oh, parents really? too much just nah. to not, yeah i don't do it to my mom but my dad oh well, my dad have it like yeah. a fucking you know for me i think i talked about it before but the moment where i felt like i gained my dad's trust and when he cc'd me on the emails with his golf buddies and they all send those jokes and it's like yeah. a four paragraph thing just for the pe- the playoff to be like well jokes on him hole number 19 was on a hooker he's fucking and they're all like yeah wives we're cheating on him <laughs> and you're just like this is so odd text each other the email the jokes in an email god damn all right guys and this episode is brought to you by us us us, us. patreon guys Four bonus episodes a month for only five dollars a month. God damn, Trevor, why'd you drop a granola Because bar? I don't have Patreon now. My quest bar is falling on the ground. How do you not have Patreon? Do you? No. But honestly, sometimes it just bums me out, like how fire the Patreon episodes are, and I'm like, I want more people to hear this. I know. And it's like we can't be disloyal to the Patreon members and be like, we're dropping it for free. Cause then they like, what are we here for? So we really do take so much pride and joy in the Patreon. And it's the same level of absurdity uh, to the point where we're like, should we swap that one for the regular? Or should we do like there is no regular versus Patreon? They're both just wild, but Patreon gets nuts. I the love, story I'm yeah. gonna tell is so gross on the Patreon, but it's fucking hilarious. Anyway. That's why I love the Patreon because it's like it's a small, like like highest fan level uh community, and then so we can get super wild and feel very like safe and secure. That's what we tell our secret socks. God 
Except our faces are right there, so it ain't no secret. Maybe. But look, we just took this time to, uh, you know, I'm so tired of just being a walking billboard for so many things. So I just thought, let's just let's just promote us real quick. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Stiff Socks Pod. Four bonus episodes a month. That's Ad, one every single Friday. Ad free every single goddamn Friday. Five dollars. It's only five dollars, and there's already how many episodes are there on? Got sixty-four episodes on there right now. We have sixty-four episodes already on the channel. So That's once you sixty-four s- hours. So once you sign up for Patreon, you get the whole sixty-four uh, older Patreon episodes plus an extra or plus an extra uh, episode every single Friday. And Michael shows his dick on there. I have episode thirteen is where I show it, and then it lasts until episode sixteen. God. Damn. Anyways, that's all. We 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 didn't want you to be like, Ugh, what now? Just us, guys. It's just us. Yeah. Patreon.com slash stiff socks pod. God damn. damn. Anyways, axe, not mad, man shit. So I think I'll just be like, fuck it, whatever. It's a unique gift, and there was a look on my face I've never had from a gift before. And I was thoroughly surprised because I thought it was just gonna be like a Lululemon gift card. So all in all, I was like, this is fucking hilarious and funny. Like, I'm for it. Also, if you know what your girl's dad looks like, it yeah. makes total sense. You see like six years old, jacked jawline, has amazing hair in a ponytail. Yeah. You're like, yeah, you, well, you, yeah. You, you don't give, you, you know, you don't give like a fucking nice purse or like, yeah. you know, a, you some nice shoes or some shit. He or, looks like if Peloton made Tarzan. Like he's just Fuck, like a, that's good. It, yeah, I mean, it. He sort of looks like if Peloton just became a like a Peloton bike became a person. person that's, yeah. that's what he exactly looks yeah. like. Um, so, anyways, you still do Christmas? Oh, I still do Christmas. So, you well, walk me through. This, yeah, yeah. Because I am of the. Wait, who's Jewish on your side? Your dad? My dad. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah. So Christmas on my mom's side is is a very. Uh, traditional type of thing. We still do like the Santa thing. Like my my like my mom will still like wrap the gifts and sh- it's so cute. Man, my my mom will still like buy all the gifts for everybody. Like wrap them in her room. Won't let anybody go in there. That, that's she literally put a sign on her door that says Santa's workshop. I mean, what the cute. fuck? It is the cutest cute. thing in the world, dude. Cute. You can't go in there. Oh, and- dude, I have a sign like that where all our gifts were. I guess I wrote it when I was in third grade. My parents kept it. Shitty handwriting that says. I mean, it looks like somebody like was getting electrocuted or fingered while doing it, but it says present zone and they put it over there and i was like cute. that's so cute dude. cute so cute so she does all this right and, so and, she, and did you do like a big family thing or is it just like you and your brothers and sisters so normally not, not a big family thing so normally it's me and my sister and my brother um that do it but um you know my sister got married and has like three kids or whatever so recently which is kind of sad but recently um two christmas ago my sister was like, all right, well, well, now it's like time for like us to celebrate Christmas at Damn. our own house. I know, I know. You so gotta it, buy an ax. Have to, I gotta I gotta call your girl's dad to like be like, yo, where do I get an ax? He's like, literally Home Depot. Right. Yeah, I'm like, all right, well, you can't get a discount? No, I'm a Peloton bike. All right, <laughs> fuck, I don't got any hands. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, so normally it's all of us, but the last two years, my sister has been with her own family. Fucking bitch, just joking. She's the best woman in the world. Um, but this year, just my brother and I, but my mom is still cute. My mom still like literally does the Santa stuff, wraps them all in a room. The, the little individual cards on every present say to like Michael from Santa, like, like in end, she has like Santa handwriting. She doesn't write it in her own handwriting. Whoa. She writes it in this like more like cursive, uh, cursive type handwriting as like what yeah, Santa like would do. Yeah, she was off a little bit of that that cough syrup, a little off bit of that, of that lean. Yeah, um, but yeah, and then she waits for us to go to sleep. She puts all the presents underneath the tree, and then she like wakes us all up, and we have to eat before we have before we like open Santa's How gifts. How fast do you eat? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. You're putting everything in a magic bullet. Okay. Belgian waffles. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> I mean, when I when I was younger, for sure, you like my mom always made us had a meal before, like like even Halloween, right? We would have this fucking Halloween stew that now fire. But like when you're a kid, you're like, bitch, I don't want a goddamn stew. I'm yeah. just like Wolverine. I, I want to go get fucking candy. A Snickers bar in my asshole. How I think we are talking about. I don't care. How fucking crazy was the house they gave the full size candy? I mean, that was a flex. And the thing is, is like it's such a flex that the neighbors don't even know until oh, they open the pillowcase to go put it in somebody yeah. else's bag and like oh where'd you get that 100 grand full oh the donnelly's we're gonna have a word with them oh yeah because it, it ruins the entire neighborhood because yeah. you're the you're instantly the favorite house in neighborhood and when you're in one of those fucking suburbia neighborhoods that shit matters oh yeah that shit matters heavy so if you're the full size Snickers, full size Twix guy giving out, like the whole neighborhood fucking hates you. And you can't backtrack. Next year, people are gonna be like, you gotta go to 2117, blah, blah, blah. That's yeah. that's the plug. You know what you do? 
you double up and you go king size. Have you ever seen someone get Oh, I thought you were talking size? about king size. No, I'm talking about regular size. I'm talking about king size is crazy. First of all, if you try to get candy recently, all they have is king size. Motherfucker. Or they say sharing size. Yeah, share size. Just say fat fuck. Just say fat fuck size. Yeah. Who needs four Twix? Me. I love Twix. Twix are good. I eat Twix like a psychopath. Though. God damn. I eat Twix in one bite. I eat no, the, <laughs> like a psycho. I, well, I can't because the fucking Nougat. bread shit. But I just bite the top and then just get the caramel off the top. Pops off real quick. What the fuck is happening right now? Hold on. I told you. I told no you, I told no you. shit, you need an axe. You should to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just and then the caramel part comes off. And then if you want, you got you got a cookie. A little bit oh, of chocolate. So you always do that even before you had a bitch ass stomach? Yeah. Hold This kind of sounds like string cheese almost. Like you're like sort of Did you bite the string cheese? fucking love you. you know what my, you know what my brother did at the house first of all my brother's been like becoming slowly becoming a chef i don't know what the fuck happened in the last four years chef this motherfucker cooks like a goddamn banshee he made a goddamn salad like a salad like you would find at a fucking fancy place he CBK, put yeah. grapes in it three different types of foliage what uh, the foliage like the leaves oh i thought three, that was somewhere like i thought that's what you called the under part of your nuts foliage yeah you could maybe foliage you, yeah Maybe if you have your Trees? ass hair is too long, you could be like, there's some foliage. You ever open up a girl's asshole and there's some hair in there? Clean it up. <laughs> Clean it up! I mean, my ass is a fucking nightmare. Have to be. Actually, it's not. Manscaped! Bro, no, I'm just joking. We don't have Manscaped. This, uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking, the this, this style was crazy. Oh, polio string cheese. That's where I was going. My brother took polio string cheese. Polio? I don't know. That's the name of it. Oh. You never had the, the polio string cheese? Is that I'm not East a big cousin? string cheese guy. What in the fuck? So, uh, I'm sorry. After the age of seven, I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't need these. I'll fucking crush those little the wax ones, the circles with the cow on it. Ooh, I don't like those. I don't even no. know what the fuck. Oh, no, I do. It's it's like, yeah. It's they like come in like the little fucking, they the come fuck? in a little shitty dime bag. Yeah. you like They're like wafers. You can put your drink on it. Yeah. Weird. You could hockey puck. Yeah. But how do you eat those? Fake eyeball. How do you eat those seductively? Polo string cheese, you would... Well, it comes eat, in the wax, you peel it off. Oh. Caress well, it. I used to eat polo string cheese in a seductive polo? way. Okay. So wait, he put string cheese in a salad. That's literally the whole fucking point of me even bringing this up, but it was absolute fire. He put grapes, fucking string cheese, walnuts, yeah. walnuts and pecans. What, dude? What's happening in my goddamn house? You got an axe, I got the best salad in the world. Anyways, back to the thing. My mom, <clears throat> amazing Christmas. Dude, I got a fucking, I got a 52 degree attack wedge from Cleveland that Whoa, I wanted. Oh, nice. Yeah, bro, super stoked. I got fucking uh, uh, eight, uh, 24 uh, golf balls. I got fucking tees. I got a goddamn jacket I wanted. I got, oh, I got these shoes. Okay. My mom hooked it up, bro. Oh, and my brother got me this, uh, um, what are they called? Tripod, a super nice, nice. Uh, like tripod that like get like get become super small. Yeah, for travel. I was great. yeah, great, great. Th- great yeah, th- dude, I, I knew I, I was really maturing as a male Here when my go. mom was like, "What do you want for your birthday?" And I was like, "Bar stools." And she's like, "You want a T-shirt from Barstool?" I was like, "Nah." Do you want a, a cameo from Dave Portnoy? Nah. Do you want to be on Call Her Daddy? Nah. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But literally just bar stools. My new apartment has like this little ledge and I'm like, fucking put a bar stool there. Yeah. And I tried to put my old seats under there and it's just so it's awkward. so weird. It goes up to my eyes. <laughs> yeah. like I'm creeping on myself in the kitchen. But that was a legit gift. And then they they got me. And I was like, oh, fucking You got bar stools? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm excited. Dude, hard. We can finally sit at the fucking thing and eat. Bar stool. Bars. Bar stool. <laughs> um... Adult gifts are funny because you go through a transition where if, if you get excited about them. Because think about when you oh, were Oh, my 16. head was in a horny place. I'm sorry. Adult gifts. I was like, what, what, are we, what are we shoving up asses? Who keeps going, oh, I got such a fucking up your ass story, but I'm going to save that for Patreon. I, I, mean, I have a hilarious. It's, what? <laughs> it's, if you saw this dumb TikTok I posted about things being wet, wet, you, you'll know where this is going. Oh, wet, wet. The amount of people that tag me in this TikTok... About that I, I had this like thermo- oh, meterometer. It's for plants. It says like, it shows you how wet or dry things are. And everybody was like, Michael, Michael. And I was like, let the man live. Guys, it's one girl in the world that didn't get wet, wet. All the other girls, I don't know at this point. Yeah, there is proof. Someone showed me there's a, I think it was an older Patreon episode where Michael himself says, 
Man, you have a, ever have a girl just get like too wet around you? You got a girl, dude. dude. We got proof. You had her wet, wet, bro, wet. I had a girl. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had a girl. A girl wrote in who has been. No, no, no. It was someone sent a time code of an older episode where Michael. Oh, oh, oh was that's saying, so funny because because yeah, yeah. that's like what we did when we were talking about what's 2020 going to be like and then fast forward this is the yeah. same thing you can put those two clips yep. together <laughs> yep. please somebody make that that's so funny oh, I yeah. never have a girl be too wet wet she don't make me wet wet right. like the how it started how it's going kind of thing Literally, I, would, yeah. I would like to say just for the mother effing record that I've had a girl send me a duvet cover because she got so wet over the weekend that she fucked my duvet cover up. All right, just it's, for the record, okay. is did I not get that one girl wet wet? Of okay. course. Did she make me sad when she said it? Yeah. We're did I think I liked you. her? Yeah. What? We're here for you. Yeah. Okay, also, man. and what if I had a fucking breakdown on this fucking podcast? You kind of are. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking crying. No, I 100. percent That's just the one that'll fuck with you the most. Oh, of course. It's, it's like it's the same thing as like comments on the internet. Yeah, You've had yeah. a thousand comments that are like, "This guy's hilarious. This guy's great." And one person's like. Yeah, well, I didn't laugh. Yeah. Well, all right, Ralph from Mesa, Arizona, Arizona, uh, uh, January, January 21st, 21st through the, through the 24th. 25th. How's 20, 24th? Oh shit, my bad. Thursday through Sunday, uh, six it. shows. Six. six shows. Six. Me and two fine going out there. House of Comedy. Uh, tickets will be on my website, but House of Comedy. Just Google it. Trevor Wallace. House of Comedy. House of oh, Comedy. Gonna be House so fun. Arizona's so goddamn fun. Um, um, yeah. But yeah, shows. you wet. Wet, wet, wet. So, anyways, adult gifts. Here's the thing about adult gifts. Got it. You shove them in your ass. Duvet cover. Duvet cover. Uh, shove in the ass. Adult. Oh, uh, Patreon story. I'm gonna save it for Patreon. Um, what else was I gonna say? No, you were fucking talking. Moist, moist thing. No, I, that's that's all I was saying. Is like the oh, wet, adult wet gifts, thing. adult gifts. That's what yes, I was going. Adult gifts. Um, My yes. head was in a horny place. Per horny usual. place. Got it. So horny. adult gifts are hilarious because you reach a certain age where if you were like seventeen and your parents got you parcels, you'd be like, oh, do I take these and smash them over your fucking face because this is a trash gift? I mean, but, that's a funny way to say Jack Daniel's dad. He's like, you can't even drink legally. <laughs> well, dad, come on. Yeah. This whole liquor cabinet. Oh, you know what's so funny? I admit, it, finally admitted to my mom that the reason that the liquor cabinet is almost all gone is because of me. And she was yeah. like, really? And I go, yeah. Doesn't know. Oh. My dad used to mark the bottles with a sharpie. He put a little dot where they stopped drinking. Jew. <laughs> yeah. That's the most no, Jewish thing no, I've no, ever heard. No, 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 no. He would do it because you'd be like, oh, look, honey, we stopped here and now it's here. Our son must have taken it. Oh. It wasn't like, like it wasn't like a cheap thing. Your dad's like a fucking a Brinks home security system. Yeah, but Crash. I would just mark it where I left off. But so you Two can play this game, but, Ronald. But you is your dad's name Ronald? Moving on. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um is, is your dad's name Ronald? Yeah. Hilarious. Um, it, so did you just wipe it off? How'd you wipe it no, off? No, you can't. It was Sharpie. But I would just make another mark. Oh, so your dad was like, oh, I marked it twice. Was there just a bunch of marks? Like yeah, you were a little th kid I mean, there'd be like groaning? four marks, you know, and then unless he counted the number of them. He could do that. He yeah, he probably did. My unless mom's he was like, I was so drunk. How many was it? My mom never did that. She had 28 kids. She had no time to fucking mark bottles. I would, but also, the, my, my mom's liquor cabinet was garbage. I would drink like fucking uh, like orange liqueur. Dude, I would do that shit too. Like, I'm literally drinking but triple sec. I I did that with the Patron one. It was like orange, and I thought it'd be good. And my mom was in the office one day, and I poured it like like being quiet. I poured it in uh, Sunny D, Sunny D, and all this Patron. I thought it was gonna be fire. I thought I was like a mixologist. Oh, little do I know. I'm fucking like 17, dumb as shit. It was the worst drink I've ever had in my life. It's literally orange I, liqueur. I forget what it's I called. Two sips, and then I just poured it down the drain. Well, yeah, it's it's disgusting. It's like, I literally, when I used to bartend, that's what they told you to make a, a margarita. They told you to put fucking orange liqueur in there. Margaritas like, are so hit or miss. Well, because they don't, the reason they're hit or miss is because they don't make them properly. They make them with fucking triple sec and it's disgusting. That or the, the pre-made mix shit. It's God. all, it's all trash. Tastes Literal like you're fucking doing a body shot off a of salt rock. Too much. It's just not good. It's just acidity as fuck. But when you get a good margarita, fuck. Let me lick some salt off it, something else. God, I haven't taken a body shot off a fucking human in so long. Body shot. Remember out. bars? Because I don't. When are they gonna open? <laughs> Florida, Florida. We have shows in Florida, guys. January? No, we don't. But um, maybe. Yeah, uh, that's hilarious. Um, but the adult gifts. <clears throat> but now, dude, I literally ordered myself espresso cups. Oh yeah. And I've never Pumped. been so goddamn excited in my Pumped. whole life. Red espresso cups. I'm like, I can't. Oh, they're actually coming in today. I can't fucking wait. And I ordered, ready for this adult gift? Measuring cups. Mm. I ordered like these fucking stainless steel and black measuring cups. I am gonna fucking fist myself with your ax when I get those in the mail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just changes, you know? <clears throat> oh, I but, love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get an like, exercise bike. Did I tell you guys? 
Peloton? No, a Peloton's like two grand. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not you ready for that it. yet. You I've, gotta go I've Peloton. never done. No, I don't. <laughs> Where are you gonna put it? I'm gonna put it. You know, uh, you know, next to my fireplace. I'm gonna put it there. You know that closet. Yeah. I'm gonna put it next to my it's closet. Just, every time I get off a fireplace, or not a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> you run the fireplace. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. I got a little fucking heat in that taint. Uh, heat in my phalanges. Uh, Toes. Every, every single time you get off a fucking bike. The, those bikes, I never feel like I'm winded. Maybe I'm just a bitch. Nope, that's not true. I've done it before. Pelt, yeah. I feel a little more, but it's like, it's more so with my legs. I don't feel like I'm dripping sweat. That Well, that's why I'm going to layer up. What? Oh, clothes? Yeah. I, every time I run, even if it's like hot as fuck outside, nine degrees if I'm running or whatever, if I'm working out outside, I always layer up. Really? Yeah, you get hot as fuck. That's how you work. Okay. Um, but I'm Respect. nervous because I've literally only rode... Excuse me. I've only rode exercise bike maybe twice as like a joke. So, I'm, and I'm not a big like bike guy. What made you jump to this? Because gyms aren't going to open, bro. And I... It's like you can do the weight stuff, but you need the cardio aspect. Correct. And if and you got a treadmill, your downstairs neighbor... Is going to fucking murder Would me. come to me, take the axe, mm -hmm. have sex with me, and then go to your apartment. Uh, I will say my downstairs neighbor, remember we remember she had she rented her place Airbnb and then had that only yeah. person. So she told me that story and obviously we talked about it. And so I sent her that clip. She was losing it. She's like, I sent it to everyone I know, blah blah. She was like so excited to be on the show. Promo. Really cute. Bags. Bags. Um real quick. And then I know we have to get into stock talks, we're running out of time. I'll say if I Airbnb my place and you do OnlyFans, I'm getting a percentage. Percentage. <laughs> percentage. You're doing your OnlyFans in my fucking domicile? Do I know how to spell that word? No, but it works in a sentence. I'm getting 5%. Well, least. you know what's funny is like the whole reason how people have to use like Linktree is because OnlyFans is like a, you know, like you can't just have it out there. Like there will be a time in an Airbnb description. Well, not right now because they're fucking blocked for the holidays. You <laughs> fucks. Is this the same episode? Probably. I can't believe it's the same episode. It's four hours. We're, it's going to say like no filming pornography. There's a studio that I film at in the Valley that that happened. Like people just rent it for the day and mm -hmm. then just film porn. And yeah. now it's like in bold letters like, please no porn here. Also, and I'm like, what about softcore? Mm. Do you see tits? Softcore is so weird. How are you not hard? How are you not hard? Well, I heard okay. back in the day. Give it to me. HBO uh -huh. would hire men. Uh -huh. who were of the gay descent. Okay, got it. Because they weren't like in love with the woman and they weren't like, it wouldn't do anything. And that's why they never showed the penis shot. If you watch mm. HBO back in the day, they never show a P and the V. Oh yeah, because it's soft core. The dude is just- Why do you think teens are so angsty? They're just pissed off back in the day because they just had soft core. You're like, let me see the thing on the thing. But you didn't even know, I didn't even know that type of porn existed. The first time what? that I Google some stuff and all of a sudden you saw the P, a hard P go in the fucking wet, wet V. You're like, God damn. Bro, I what is this? Is this a Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Why does his look like that? Guys? I know. That's but a I remember, trash like, moment. Did you ever have that moment with your friends where you're yes. just be like looking at porn, uh -huh. like online, just like be like, ah, fucking titties. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then and then you see a, a the dude with the massive hog and you got to be, and, and you're like, what? Bro, get that out of here. And then you're like a little fascinated. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. And, but like you all at all play like oh bro get that shit off the screen and we're all like how does he have it oh of course it's a it's a weird juxtaposition get it out of here. it's a weird juxtaposition you start taking notes what is he doing Kevin Ch <laughs> <laughs> Michael it's one one vein two veins all right how many Alexander change it how, do, how big is that thing? You put, you have to like, you're like, all right, all right that toaster next to it is six inches. Okay. It's three times the size of that toaster. With my computer screen. <laughs> you ever see those TikToks where someone like, there's that you. dude that figures out Ooh. how tall someone is? That's you fucking could, nuts. That guy could probably tell how big your dick is. Yeah, I could tell him if he wants. Two inches. Right. Anyways, women wet write wet. in. Wet, wet. <laughs> um, sock talk. We gotta get a sock talk, man. Run out of time, huh? Sock talk, do you love me? Are you oh. writing? All right. Um, talk, baby. We have a short story from Ryan Hendrickson. A short story. A short is story. This a what is this fucking Silverstein? Uh, he doesn't have. He doesn't need any advice. He just wanted to share this with you guys. Is he flexing? Has He's, to. Uh, no, it's not a flex. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Let go ahead. Read yeah. <laughs> yeah. This man took time to write out a novel. Uh, he <clears> says, <throat> back in 2016, I got invited to a church in Massachusetts that I had never been to. Everything seemed okay, except at the end, the pastor started to say his prayer by addressing God as Daddy. It's been hold four years on. and I haven't been inside a church since. Yo, hold on. Dad or God. daddy? Daddy. Dad is awful. Daddy, horrible. So he's literally 
in church? Yeah, this is a pastor saying. This. And the pastor is like, oh, wow. I would need context. Hail Mary, full of grace. Thank you so much, daddy, for being part of the world. Say, say yeah, thanks to our daddy. Yeah, this is, this is the beginning of a prayer. So, dear daddy, I guess. Oh, my goodness gracious. Two words, eh, legal. <laughs> Has to be, you know how they always say God is everywhere? The guy's like, oh, daddy is everywhere. Weird and also makes me kind of aroused. Yeah. Daddy's everywhere, you goddamn right he is. Did you ever get an yes. erection? And you just stop there? Because yeah. of course. At like church or temple? Yeah, you know what Weird. I used to do in church? Hard to, for God. Yeah, well I'm not hard for daddy. You know what I was hard for? I would literally go, that would play this game in my brain. Is I would look at, every, I'd be like, would I bang that person? Nah. Would I bang that person? Yeah. Would I bang that person? No. I would literally. Well, but you ever see somebody who's like the same age as you in like church or the temple days and instantly you're like, oh, we should get married. Where you love me, I love you. Like it's obvious. And daddy's around. It's obvious. I saw you hold the door open for your dad. Like I'm not your daddy. What correlation is that? That makes sense to me. I know you want me. You sat three rows ahead of me so I could like kind of see the back of your shoulder. I know you got that shoulder game. Has to, and also when you turned around to definitely not look at me, you were looking at me. You were looking at me. You were looking at me. Looking at 100%. me. You ever, you ever sit next to a, a person on a goddamn uh, airplane? You're like, well, I guess we're married now. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. We're, like we're, any we're of those, together. any of those like random scenarios, like that's not what you think you would see somebody your own age back then. You're like, yeah, this is wow. We're doctor's office. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, doctor, don't eat anything. We're married. I, we're good. You know what was the horniest place when you were a kid? The mall. Did you ever go to the mall as a kid? Horny. Everyone's horny. That's where you go to get. Oh, really? Yeah, I would what fuck in the back like of the a build a bear. The free chicken samples? Oh, I love those. So good. You ever do the multiple rounds? Yeah. I would get full off the chicken samples. I'd hit them with the pump fake. I'd be like, what's that over there? Right hand. Boom. You didn't even oh, see it coming. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. It's a pretty horned up place. Oh, man. Well, that's where we would go like after school. We just go to the Are, are you going to malls anymore? No, I didn't even know malls existed. You know what a mall is? I, I Amazon! Never, like, when I go to, exactly, but when I go to a mall, I go for a very specific thing. I can't tell you the last time I was just like, let's just go browse. Well, that's a cool kind of a mall. We had the discussion a little bit ago. It's a cool, like, if there's like a milestone of success, to just be like, you know what, dude? Let's just go to the mall. Let's just pop a okay, tag or two. I see what you're saying. Sure, and maybe, that's have, on, and maybe that's on me, but I haven't just been like, let's just go to the mall. Like, if I'm going to the mall, it's like, oh, I need to go to the Apple store to get AirPods. Oh, I and get then what maybe you're on my way, I'm like, oh, that's well, that's not true. I recently was in the Santa Monica Promenade one, and walked by the Urban Outfitters, and I was like, yeah, yeah, give me all these. Yeah, it, but it's it's a, it's a fun little moment. So it is. Like, you know, let's just let's just. That's I'll, true. Also, I contradict. I, I digress. Contradict. Title. Title. Can't be. Has to be. Trevor gets an axe in his ass. Title. That is the title. Grandma, grandma in a bath. Grandma got title. run over by a reindeer. Nobody did she help her. Santa. <laughs> Fucking Sue Santa. You, she gets hit and you make a song. No. Run over grandma by a fucking reindeer. That's why grandma don't leave the fucking house, Michael. Which one? That's why she's always in the tub. Also, she's too busy getting ran through. Wait, ran over. My bad. No, ran through. Grandma got bro. Okay, Grandma's got fucked in the past. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah. What, there's got to be on Pornhub or Brazos or whatever fucking weird sign hieroglyphic porn website XQR XNXX and I'm sponsored. Sounds like something Elon Musk would name his dick. Anyways, <laughs> there's got to be a porn that says grandma got ran through by a reindeer and it's yeah. a bunch of men dressed up as reindeer. No, they're, they're Gabe, not. They are not. They are not dressed up. Their penises are dressed up and all their penises. Oh, they have antlers and their penises have red noses on them. Bang. Media. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Why else is the tip red? <laughs> oh, I'm saying actual nose, but you're saying the tip of the penis is actually red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma got ran through by a reindeer? I can't. Nothing. Wow. That's bullshit. Let's make it. Gabe, right. Cut. turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, daddy. It's just a, such a weird moment. I guarantee that person's not religious at all anymore. Can't be. After you, after you go to, to worship the Lord and all of a sudden the guy that you respect is calling the, the Lord Daddy, it's just an odd moment. We also talked about this and let's move on to Secret Stock after this. When you run into a girl or a, a guy in their like late 20s and they still call their dad Daddy. Can't do that. You gotta stop that age Weird nine. as fuck. The second you hit 10, you're like, that is your father. Well, fa father's dad. odd. If you go, father? oh, oh, we're no, gonna go very, to my father's very house. rich. Father. 
I rich. think rich is papa. We're gonna go to uh, we're father, gonna... father, papa, papa, papa. Can you that imagine is... being poor and still calling him papa? Can't. You gotta say papa, papa, poor. <laughs> <laughs> when you're poor, you don't have a dad, so you don't. That's fucking... not always true. Nope. Okay. If you're if you're poor, if you make below three thousand dollars a year, no father. Can't. Can't have a dad. Be, it can't, because it just doesn't make financial sense. If you have two parents and you're poor, what are you guys doing? Go get two John. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you can't be. I mean, yes, you guys, we're all just joking. Grandma ran over by a fucking reindeer. My grandma takes bass while I fucking talk to her. You need to stop that. Secret Gabriel, sock. Secret Sock. Secret Sock. All right, this is an anonymous listener who needs some advice. They say, would I be considered a bad friend if I tried to get with the girl that my best friend has a friends with benefits situation going on with? Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah. it's. I mean, it, the the real answer, yeah. This is my the real answer. The answer. It ain't worth the nut. Coming's never worth it. Never worth it. But I will say. Here we go. <laughs> but I will say, if your boy is having friends with benefits with her, and you feel like you actually like her, then have the conversation with the boy. But if you're just trying to beat. Still have the conversation with the boy. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, that, you're, that real relationship. Let's, if you've been friends with a dude for like eight years or some shit, and then you bang this shit a couple times, you guys aren't compatible, whatever. My homie hates you, and now you're alone. Yeah, it yeah. ain't worth it. It's never worth it. But it, but if you run it past your boy and your boy's okay with it, then fine. But you can't do it on some like sneak shit. No, 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 no. No, if you do on some sneak shit, that's fucked. It's fucked. Yeah. But you can ask and maybe they they literally just friends of benefits. They don't really there's no emotions there. All right. Weird. And then after no. Weird. And then after the girl goes, I like Devin more. Devin, you've been picked. Can you imagine that audition process? Do you know how fucking hard I would go in the paint if we were auditioning for some pussy? If it was like me and you and we had like I would go in first and then you would go in second or reverse that. Second I saw you looking on toes, but give it to him. What am what am I gonna do? Yeah. Kiss her ear? Yeah, you could. That's that's a nice moment. You don't kiss ears? I do. Yeah, I don't know to. if I'm seductive with it. I feel like it's too loud. Well, you, you don't. You have a girl like bite on your ear and you're like, that's, that hurts. Well, yeah, you can't bite too hard. It's also loud. It's like, <sighs> in the. Well, you got to know what you're doing. No, no, no. You got you to you lick, you got to softly lick around. You can't lick in. You're rimmed. What are you, fucking Greta? Yes. You're rim. Yeah, odd. Have sex with me so I know how you fuck. Guys, listen, that's a fucking episode. That's the end of the year. Honestly, if you've listened to us since we're coming up on our two year anniversary of the show, I but know you want to wrap things up. It's fucking New Year's. You're going to get hammered in a parking lot because Airbnb isn't open, you <laughs> stupid fucks. But we really do appreciate you for listening. I, I was listening to somebody else uh, on their podcast and I didn't even realize it. I was like, oh, I would have just recorded this without even thinking about it. But this is the end of the year, the 2020. I know this year was fucked beyond hell's belief. And it, uh, no matter how bad it was, you, I know no matter how bad we thought it was, like it can always be worse for a lot of people. And a lot of people really did have some hard financial struggles during this. So if we brought you an ounce of joy, a fucking smile, a laugh, any of that, whether it's from TikTok or audio or Spotify, Spotify, please give us a deal um <laughs> any of this we really thank you because this has been fun for us it's been a, a more realistic out outlet for us to kind of just talk and not be so stressed out about you know oh is this funny is this hitting like we can just be ourselves without overthinking things which is really nice and it makes us feel normal and i think you guys feel kind of a part of the group and the team here rant and too long didn't read thank you um, I'll echo all of that and a lot of you guys write in saying that um, you know this show has kind of helped you through a lot of difficult times in 2020 and that means the fucking world to us and uh, we appreciate you guys riding with the team for this long and uh, it's been two years man or almost two years and you know here's to another two years and you guys are awesome and uh, and uh, oh show uh, what's when's the January show? 21st through the 24th House of Comedy uh, Arizona, Phoenix. It's in Northern Arizona, Northern Phoenix. Um, so come on out. I'll, that'll be on my website, trevorwallscomedy.com. Before we do anything, because this is the last episode of the year, to keep tradition going, under a minute, what do you think 2021 is going to be like? Realistically or funny? Realistically. Realistically, I think 2021 is going to have, be relatively the same as it is right now for half the year. And then once the vaccines and everything come out, I think it'll normalize a little bit more the back half of 
2021. That's my that's my like honest realistically okay. realistic prediction. I yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be that. I think there's still going to be restrictions ish. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of like when you go to college and like classes isn't mandatory, you're like, "What the fuck am I here?" It's, that's how masks are going to be in the and right. be like, you'll still see some people with it, you still see some people without it. Yeah. Bars will be open, but it'll still be a little weird. But I think it's going to start opening up in the 2022 babies. Yeah, I think 2021 will be all masks the entire year. 100%. I do not think you will go into a place without a mask on. I think masks will be mandatory the entire year. You think? Yes. 2022 is when you'll start seeing places that you don't have to wear a mask. But I, I think mean, Florida is mask off. They're out here. Are you using Florida as an example? They are a fucking insane. But their they're cases fuck- are lower than California's. Their what? Their cases are lower than California's. Yeah, because they have alligator blood in their blood. <laughs> they're fucking insane. They're not even people. You ever talk to someone from Florida? You're like, hey, what's up? Like, hey, I'm fucking hey, I'm coming out to you, Florida. You're like, what in the fuck? Do you, you know what? I me? think the perfect representation for what I think a lot of people think of Florida is is in Waterboy, the one coach. He's like yeah. the special teams yeah. coach. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Boucher. Well, I think, yeah, I think we'll, there's more hope. I just hope Los Angeles opens up a little bit so we can do some shows. Live, oh. have some normalcy. I would love that. Um, but yo, that's guys. That's our. That's a prediction. That's the show. That's our twenty. Um, happy birthday, 20. Trev. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mr. Wallace. Bang Bros. And we'd like to thank the sponsor of today, which is us. Patreon. Go to Patreon. Four bonus episodes a month for only five dollars. That's a new episode every single Friday, uninterrupted, no ads. So technically, they are longer than regular episodes because. Yep. There's no ads in between. It's just an hour straight through. Just pra, pra, pra. And we do some other stuff on there. Like we have a video submission where people send us videos of them. It's like their secret soccer sock talk, but in person we see them. A little, little more fun. We also have a Discord community just for Patreon too, which is a cool little, uh, like, I mean, you guys know what Discord is, but it's a cool little like written. It's like in. just a chat room. It's all things stiff socks and the different like segments that we can like pull from, whether it's sock talk, secret sock, just like anything that's going on. And they also help each other out in there and, you know, that freak shit. Hell yeah. And we have like, what is it? 54 bonus episodes? Six, 64. 64 uh, extra episodes on Patreon that are all in the catalog. You guys can listen to all of them once you sign up for Patreon and you get a new one obviously every Friday. But yo, guys, thank you so much for riding with this community. It means a lot to us. Um, have a great day. Uh, fucking DM Trev and wish him happy birthday. And um, that's it, man. Guys, we love you. Go on iTunes, Spotify, rate, review. It really helps us out. We love you. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>